Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Apostle Joshua Selman's powerful message, Scriptural Prayer Modals, he reveals the true power of prayer. He teaches us how to align our prayers with God's Word for incredible results. Feel the strength of praying together and see how it can truly move mountains. Learn to develop a structured prayer life that brings clarity and breakthroughs. Unlock the secrets of effective prayer and start seeing divine results in your life. Join Apostle Joshua Selman and discover the art of scriptural prayer for a victorious life. You agreed with me this morning to challenge your prayer life. Oh, I hope we're still together. Yes, Let's review. Number one, praying in the spirit. Number two, yes, number three, the prayer of inquiry. Can I give you number four? The second, the fourth model of prayer is warfare, warfare, warfare. This one, I would not even be tempted to delve in. I would just touch it in a hurry. Else we'll spend the whole day here. Warfare, prayer, warfare, prayer. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19. The assignment of warfare prayer is to establish the realities that have been finished in Christ. To make them manifest in your life. I like how the Bible puts it. To turn anything to your salvation is the assignment of warfare prayer. Warfare prayer is not about fighting demons. It's not about fighting spirits. It's establishing the victory that is already wrought in Christ. Are we together? Over spirits, over situations, over circumstances. I like the way the Bible puts it. To turn things for your salvation. It says, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation. How? Through your prayers and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. I know that this disappointment, I know that this attack, my God, there are things every believer must know. I know that this family crisis, I know that this court case, the assignment of warfare is to turn anything to your advantage. Anything anything to your advantage there are times when you come close to a tree when you don't pluck the fruits on time they start rotting and they fall to the ground but the earth has a unique way of turning everything to the advantage of the soil are we together it now becomes manure something that you see bringing flies and smelling around and the earth is not threatened by it it's a mentality you must have. As a believer, you must look at everything from the standpoint of God's sovereign plan. There is still a way God can get glory from this. You were sent away from your work. Okay, the deed has been done. What else can be done from this? I know that even in the midst of this, it can still turn for my salvation. This was Paul's mentality. When he got into prison, he would not sit down and say, God, why me? He would use the opportunity in the prison because he knew something. He would write letters to the churches and say i hear that you are misbehaving i'm soon coming out of this prison i will come and visit you but in the meantime correct this correct that he was a man who knew that to live is christ and even to die is gain you must know this warfare prayer is predicated on an understanding that all things work together for good please hear me to them that love god not to everybody all things work together for good to them that love god and to them who are the called according to his purposes believe that all things are working for your good truly believe it the disappointment the joblessness including what you think is happening nationally lord i don't know how you do this but because i am the called it must work for my good in the name of jesus christ work for my good and you engage in the place of prayer 
Are we together? Yeah. Scriptural prayer model. You may want to correct that. I see someone projecting my message. Scriptural prayer models ends with an S. Scriptural prayer models, please. Thank you. Scriptural prayer models, warfare. Now, there are people who do not believe in warfare prayer. It depends on what you call warfare. I personally do not believe in an endless struggle of fighting demons and fighting spirits with no victory in view. That becomes an insult to what Christ has done on the cross. Are we together? Yes. However, let me assure you that nothing gets established on its own. Satan and all unclean spirits are stubborn spirits, meaning that they have a passion to insist on your pain until you disengage them by light. I desire to come to you even I Paul once and again he said but Satan hindered us knowing that victory has been wrought in Christ does not threaten Satan is engaging and appropriating that victory that threatens him Satan is not afraid of scripture he's afraid of the believer who understands how to engage scripture for your profiting hallelujah he will kill anything he's allowed to kill steal anything he's allowed to steal and you believe me on this destroy anything he's allowed to destroy this is the assignment of warfare prayer haven't done all to stand stand don't assume that god loves your children so much they will be nice wonderful and disciplined people engage in the spirit when you see the cloud when you see the formation of darkness that is the time to take on your priestly regalia and get to the place of prayer the bible says if you turn aside in the day of adversity there is a day in everybody's life called the day of adversity you don't have to be good or bad he informs you pre-informs you so that number one you build prayer strength prayer power for those days and that when those days come you can engage there are times that it looks like all hell have chosen to break loose over you your marriage your children your health are we together now you must know how to engage warfare prayers warfare prayers are serious times of spiritual adventure usually they do not go with you praying alone there are times you need to draw forth the support of other brethren people who love you and understand because you need to engage with power warfare prayer this is very important jesus is about to go to the cross and he goes to Gethsemane and the Bible tells us that he locked up himself and he was praying until the the um, the sweat became like blood dripping from him the question is what kind of prayer is that that the word incarnate the very son of God there have been times in my life where I had to engage that kind of prayer let me give you two information about warfare prayer every time seasons are about to change this is the kind of prayer you need to engage in because satan will always start at stand at the corridor of new seasons birthday periods anniversary periods do you know it was during i told you yesterday it was during a man's birthday that a prophet's head went away I have taught my people and trained them that before you celebrate your birthday, if your birthday is on the 12th, by 9th or 10th or 11th, you should have some time of retreat. Now, not many, it's not, a, it's not a scriptural injunction, it's just a prophetic guide. I don't believe in people sleeping and snoring themselves into defining seasons. No, that is a careless Christian, in my opinion, honestly. Honestly when jesus was born there were reactions in the heavens when jesus was about to be commissioned there were reactions when jesus was about to start the core of his assignment his passion there were reactions when he died there were reactions when he resurrected there were reactions on the day of pentecost there were reactions there are certain kairos moments in our lives where you cannot afford to slumber while men slept there are defining seasons in your life you are about to celebrate your birthday take at least one or two days let the people celebrate you lock yourself and pray 
especially where you are striking very very notable you know points in life these are survival strategies everybody who wants to live serving the purposes of the kingdom and to walk in victory must understand warfare prayer i will never allow satan come and roam around my vicinity unattended to i have the responsibility of sanitizing my spiritual atmosphere and i must do that without fail he will not respect the fact that you are a man of god that is not his business I think I may have said it here. Let me say this and then one point and we'll wrap up. There are spirits. Listen, please. There are spirits that are assigned to believers. The moment you get born again, there are demonic spirits assigned to sabotage the purposes of God in your life. Number two, there are spirits that are assigned to ministerial offices. They are not assigned to individuals. They are assigned to whatever of if God has called you to be an intercessor, there are spirits that will look for you. You don't have to call them. They will come. They were sent to pursue every intercessor because the devil knows the power of prophetic intercession. There are spirits that are assigned to regions. So you relocated to Lagos. Welcome. But there are spirits. It's not only Bureau of Statistics that are where you came. There are spirits who are where you have arrived. Do you know why? They begin to mold you to look like the deformities within that territory. If that territory is known for poverty, if you like be a multi-millionaire, if you don't have spiritual intelligence, you can step into that territory and mysteriously things will start going bad. It's true. It's true. One court case after another, one trouble after another, or they will tell you that three of your relatives need a kidney transplant, 16,000 per one. Can you bring out 50 million and all these troubles just plague you in a moment you try to look like the spirit of the region i wish i were lying to you i would have just told you i'm sorry but it's true that also includes overseas so overseas does not have a special closeness to the throne room no it's just that the people are a lot more enlightened than we are now and their policies work a lot better than it does here but as far as the attack of spirits the whole earth lies in wickedness you will find spirits everywhere now imagine the spirits that attack you as a believer then a man of god spirits that attack families because there is a prophet there is an apostle that is coming there and you don't even know where the attack is coming from you would have looked at all of these people in the bible and seen the kind of attack that came over them what is that what am i looking for now i'm sure mary would look at her child and say why do they want to kill my baby as for me i've made a covenant with god that for as long as i'm alive i will keep satan far from my life the ministry god has given me and everybody God has brought under my care I take it as a responsibility one thing I can tell you Satan is not he's not a friend he's not an advisor there is no discussion you should have with Satan he is evil the epitome of evil he will kill anything he's allowed to kill I've been sick before I know what it means to have mysterious infirmities warfare prayers let me give you the final one has god spoken to someone yes. how many have we considered number one praying in the spirit number two declaring scriptures in prayer number three the prayer of inquiry number four warfare prayers number five and this will be the final one there are many models but i'll stop here the prayer of thanksgiving I will tell you how this prayer works very powerful the prayer of thanksgiving colossians 4 and verse 2. Malakosiata. let's read together ready one two go please continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving one more time continue in prayer 
and watch in the same with thanksgiving he says continue in prayer and while you watch engage add to that prayer model thanksgiving let me tell you how this prayer works you convert your request to thanks as an act of faith father i thank you because i am the head and not the tail are you getting that now i thank you because in the name of jesus i am blessed i thank you because i declare that it is well with me so it's it's like you are adding declarations but this time around thanksgiving is what ushers what you are saying lord i give you thanks there are times that your entire prayer scope can just be god i thank you the thanksgiving can come in a song the thanksgiving can come in a dance the thanksgiving can come usually this kind of prayer is backed up with giving please listen you want to engage this prayer model it does not just end by saying thank you usually in the midst of your praying god will place it in your heart to support that prayer with a seed with understanding it's true continue in prayer and watching the same with thanksgiving philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication you see there again with thanksgiving connect thanksgiving to the prayer he said let your request be made known unto god father i thank you because the bible declares many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered them from the, him from them all i thank you because i'm delivered i'm escaped like the bird escapes from the snare of the faller i thank you because my day is blessed i thank you because it is well with me it is well with my children thanksgiving is what proceeds from that prayer and sometimes when you don't have anything to say you sing your thanks you dance your thanks it is still prayer a powerful prayer model in fact hallelujah i think it's god's servant bishop david Oedipo, who said the last digit in the in the thanks in the faith equation is thanksgiving you know like you press a number zero eight zero seven 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 one one two that two that last digit is thanksgiving 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 is one of the pillars that sustain joy when you give thanks it can turn mourning to dancing it can turn sorrow to joy because thanksgiving mandates first that you reminisce on the faithfulness of god past it's impossible to give thanks without recalling the things he did yesterday in as much as you are trusting him to do something now thanksgiving lord i thank you for what you did yesterday i thank you for my children now they are looking for jobs but i thank you because while they were in secondary school there was a time i did not even know where their school fees would come from lord i give you praise that all these children today that my son is a professor today i remember when he was expelled in the secondary school you have turned my son today to be a preacher i want to give you thanks and it is on account of that i can thank you for what you are already doing in his life lord i thank you for my grandchildren and someone thinks you are just praising god you are actually praying it is a powerful prayer model hallelujah where you bless him from your heart where you cry thanksgiving from your heart you wake up in the morning this is a great day lord i thank you it is only those who are alive that can praise you i want to tell you thank you because you have given me breath i know there are still issues around my life but i take the time to say thank you i take the time to say thank you we're about to pray i hope you'll be able to select at least one of these models and use while we pray if you pray in the spirit alone you are doing malpractice you must practice the remaining four all of us can pray in the spirit that one is the holy spirit engaging <laughs> are we together for someone perhaps you may start with the prayer of thanksgiving i see people dropping their prayer request okay so let's do that if you are praying if you are dropping your request you can drop that so that we do this in the next five minutes or thereabout and we're done is it all right if i request that we okay let me just give you one minute to write your prayer request please um ushers if you can allow people to write maybe help someone with a piece of paper it doesn't matter how 
now you can pray in the spirit while you are writing science has proven that you can pray in the spirit and write it doesn't disrupt your ability to write hallelujah let me recap the prayer models that i've taught you so far number one praying in the spirit praying in tongues number two declaring scriptures in the place of prayer number three engaging the prayer of inquiry asking for answers insisting that the answers come because with those answers directions come number four warfare prayers establishing realities as finished in christ even against principalities powers and antichrist hindrances to your life and destiny and finally the prayer of thanksgiving the prayer of thanksgiving i want you to add something to that fifth point praying with thanksgiving i want you to understand it when you are reading it later on praying with thanksgiving not just the prayer of thanksgiving so that if anybody's reading your notes who was not here they understand what you are saying the prayer of thanksgiving is not just reminiscing on the goodness of god yesterday is adding thanks to your request and so you speak them by faith as though they are already done thank you lord jesus are we ready to rise and pray if you are done writing your request and by the way i want you to believe please don't just write believe truly there is a god that answers prayers if you are done you can just wave it and someone will be available to pick it please let's do that in one minute hallelujah and for those who are connecting online i'm not sure if you have a chance you can post yours just online on the platforms available for you there else you can just hold your prayer request as a sign of faith and while we pray here you can connect by faith knowing that distance is no barrier and god will step in for you please make sure you write whatever it is that ails you whatever it is that has frustrated your enjoying the greatness the glory the power of god petition that situation and let's watch the god who answers prayer okay we can stand to pray when we're done if you're done please stand and let's pray first prayer point we are going to obtain grace from God to begin to engage every one of these prayer models it takes grace from God to engage these models faithfully while we are waiting for those who are still dropping their requests go ahead and begin to pray ask the Lord for grace someone ask your maker the king of kings the king eternal ask him for grace the Bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth please ask him for grace father i receive grace my prayer life is fanned back to flames now that i understand these models of prayer in the name of jesus christ mention them one by one i obtain grace to pray in the spirit and to do so consistently i receive grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god to be full of the word that i'm able to make declarations prophetic declarations scripture based declarations in the place of prayer someone pray i decree and declare grace to inquire in the place of prayer to pray inquiry prayers to pray inquiry prayers no more bad self-limiting choices and decisions obtain grace to engage in warfare prayers 
warfare prayers dethroning the cohorts of hell over your life the affairs of your destiny the prayer of thanksgiving have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.